Hi, welcome to Nishcraft. My name is Cassie and I'm your host and you are looking at some of the amazing things in my latest giveaway. So this giveaway is called My Favorite Things and it features some items that you guys told me were your favorite things and i will get into that in a minute but before i go through all of the amazing things that are in this giveaway i want to remind you guys of two things the first thing is that i want for you to watch this video to the end First off, if you don't watch the video to the end, then you are not going to see all the amazing things that are going to be in this giveaway. But second, I'm going to read the terms and conditions later on, and it's really important that you know because it'll be telling you how to enter, and also YouTube finds that very important that I read the terms and conditions, so I just want to make sure you guys know that. And second, I want to reassure you guys that the only way you will find out about the winner is through a video that I will post, and I will post it at the end of the giveaway, okay? And that will be in the giveaway term, so again, just, just wait for that. Now, the reason that I say that is that there are some people that try to steal information they um, sometimes comment back on giveaway videos to people who post their comments here and I just wanted to let you guys know anybody who comments um, they might steal my picture so it might look like it's me but anybody who comments and asks you for your information or asks you um, to text them or join um, some kind of chat or, or anything like that. That's not me. The only way that you will find out the w winner of this giveaway is through a random comment picker video, which I will post at the end of this giveaway. Okay, so now that that stuff is done, let's go ahead and start going through the notions for this giveaway. So the first place I want to start is with these um, stitch markers. So I have these stitch markers here and these, sorry, I'm trying to orient myself to the camera. So these are, there are four little stitch markers and they're all sheep. They have the clasp on them so that you can, um, you can use them for crochet. Now some, some of the stitch markers are just circular and those are for, um, knitting, but we've got some crochet stitch markers here. And so we've got those sheep. And then we also have these, and these are little flowers. Let me see if I can turn them all around so you can see all the different colors. I really like those. They're all, they're all different color roses. Yeah, so I thought you guys might like that. So we have some special stitch markers in here, but we also have my organza bag of about 25 stitch markers. In here we also have um, different sized yarn needles as well as a plastic yarn needle and a um, needle. This is a metal one that's got a like a little curve in it right here. I, I always love those for weaving in my ends. Just wanted to make sure you knew all the goodies in this organza bag. So I am going to just kind of put these off to the side. Um, we also have a pink measuring tape and a pink um, row counter. Now these row counters are really cool. Um, in order to turn them on, you press the big button there. Okay, so to restart it, you hold down on that little button. It goes to zero. Then every single time you complete a row, you can just hit this big button here and it will count up by one and you can keep track of how many rows you've done. And that is just about the most awesome thing ever <laughs> and it certainly helps um, so in addition to this tape measure I also have another tape measure this is a this is a kind that's more flexible and it it's better for measuring your own measurements with this so I just wanted to mention that I also have these really pretty um, peak scissors here and I just think they're cool. I, I love these, um, I love these like heron or crane scissors and I just think that they're so pretty. So I have some, a pink one there. We have a whole set of boy hooks and they are from size D or 3.125 millimeters all the way up through size K, which is 6.5 millimeters. And 
we have a Hobie candy as always. I order from Hobie a lot. They always send me some candies. Um, I just personally don't like them. And I know a lot of people do, but I don't. So this is the notions pouch for this giveaway. It matches exactly the um, tote here that I have here. And I am going to open this up and put some of these items back in there. Okay, so we've got the row counter, the Hobie candy, the hair and scissors, the special stitch markers, the organza bag of stitch markers. We've got uh, both measuring tapes here. And I can add a few more things. So I am going to also show you this keychain with these um, miniature hooks on them. I think that these are so cool. I don't know if you can actually use them. I've never tried, <laughs> but I just love these um, hook keychains. I think they're so cool and I love putting them in my giveaways. And then I also included some buttons. Now I had to think real hard about which color buttons to put in, but I decided to go with these um, brown ones because it seemed to match the colors of the yarn. That, And I'll show you that in a minute, but um, it seemed to match the color of the yarn the best. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there as well. So we have all of our notions put in there. So next, I want to tell you guys about these project books. Now, I absolutely adore these project books. I love having a notebook next to me while I'm crocheting and I keep it in my project bag. And I just take notes of just all sorts of things about my project and, um, you know, I might take notes about that kind of stuff and I might also just jot down like, you know, um, make diagrams of things and, and jot down, you know, how many stitches I have in a certain thing, you know, um, it, you know, in a certain project, that kind of thing. So I have a couple of those. Um, these are actually field books. That's what they're called, but I call them project books. I actually have one that's this exact color that I use myself, <laughs> but I got a second one. And so I have a couple of pretty ones like that. Um, so that will also be in there. And then I have this gold and rose gold colored pins. They both were, they both write in black ink that I will also be putting in there. So let me go ahead and put these aside. So now we have this, a couple of items from Lion Brand. We've got this color wheel and then we have this um, string theory and they're both in they're both in this plastic wrap. Now, I also have some that are mine. So I'm going to get out mine that I have opened and I'm going to put some of these items in this bag so I will have enough room to show you the yarn. So I am just packing this, this stuff up for you. <laughs> All right, so we've got that project bag full and it's so pretty, I think it's pretty. So anyway, um, the, let's start with the string theory. So this is a book that comes um, with this, um, well, first off, it's got this little tie around it, you know, which I, I, I like that stuff. Um, and it is a book that comes with this um, kind of cardboard thing in front and it has holes in it. And then you have a bunch of different kinds of paper and it's really thin paper inside of it. So what you do, um, you also get some thread and another needle here. Um, you can also use your embroidery needles that I, um, I, gave, I, I put in your notions pouch. And then it also comes with this little guide on how to use this to create little motifs so that you can practice um, embroidery. And um, embroidery isn't something that um, we might immediately think of when we think about crochet, but when we embroider things in the cro in crochet, and this is a little book of, of different ways to embroider and everything, this starts get, this gets you started, and then you can make your own patterns here. Um, so this is just a whole pack pack that helps you um, just plan different patterns and play around with um, what Lion Brand calls string theory. <laughs> so this one's mine. Yours is still wrapped in plastic and is in here. All right. And um, so I, you know, embroidery 
sometimes when we're making dishcloths, you know, we might make a, a little snowman and want to put his eyes on there and stuff like that. And so that's where embroidery can come in. So I also got you guys this color wheel, which I think is great. Um, and yours is in the plastic. This one's mine. Um, so let's say that we want to know, <laughs> let's say we, we want to know a whole, whole lot about the color yellow. So we, we move the pure color to yellow, right? Okay. So this is where the pure color is. So each one of these tells you what, what you would call the corresponding colors. So for violet, it says complementary right here. For blue violet, we have split complementary. For blue, we have triad. For red, we have triad. And for red violet, we have split complementary. And then there's tetrad and, um, it, there, there's some other things here and it, and it shows you how to create a color scheme based on this color wheel. Now, you can use whatever colors you like, but for those of us who are color challenged, these color wheels can come in handy. So let's look at the other side. So um, I really like this one. Um, let's just move it around the wheel until we get right here. How about that? So we have the color green right here on the wheel. So if you add red, that's what you are going to get. <laughs> and with blue green you add yellow and you'll get that and if you add blue to blue you'll get the same color <laughs> blue violet you add white that's what you'll get you'll add black that's what you get and you can just keep turning it and you'll see how those colors mix up it's really cool um so it does have instructions on it on how to how to use it um it also has the grayscale values and um some other different like fun things but i just wanted to show you what that did so that you guys would know what's why i put those in there all right speaking of coloring we have some more coloring books i like to add coloring books to my giveaways because they're so calming and fun so i have a calming crochet coloring book this has all sorts of just different coloring um like crochet type um motifs it's just great. I think it's so cool. Um, so we have the Calming Crochet coloring book, and then we have the Nature Fractals, um, which is just another really pretty coloring book. Um, so we've got those. You will be getting your 24 pack of colored pencils with that. And I also added this um, 500 piece puzzle with the kittens on it. And um, of course it's got yarn, all sorts of yarn, knitting needles over here. We've got scissors, we've got thread, um, we've got the tape measures and pin cushions and all sorts of different kinds of stuff um, in this puzzle. Again, it's only 500 pieces, didn't want to make it too hard, um, but I know that puzzles as well as um, coloring books, you know, they're also calm um, projects to do um, They bring us hopefully <laughs> the same joy that knitting and crochet does. So I also included one of these huge Lion Brand bags. They are absolutely enormous. Um, they're kind of flimsy. They're not the most strong, but I, the, you know, I have several of them, you know, this is the bottom. So it opens up real wide. I have several of them and all of my bigger projects fit in this. Like if I have a big blanket project that I'm doing, that'll fit in this just fine. So I wanted to go ahead and include those. So now that we've got that all taken care of, I'm going to just go ahead and hide these inside of this other bag here. So we can look at the yarn. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can't wait to see the yarn. Alrighty. So here comes the yarn. So um, in a giveaway that I did, I think it was two giveaways ago. Um, I think it was my first July giveaway. One of the things that I asked for you guys to do was tell me what your favorite yarn was. Um, and I was, <laughs> I was paying attention. I did it because I wanted to create a giveaway with your favorite things in it. And I also kind of wanted to see, you know, is there anything out there that I haven't tried? So probably the winner 
is a tie between Premiere Puzzle and another one, okay? So <laughs> let's talk about Premiere Puzzle. So you will get three um, of these big skeins of Premiere Puzzle yarn. Now this is a bulky weight five. I would say that it's a little bit thin on the bulky weight side though. Um, it just, from my personal experience, it's just a little bit thin. Um, so it, it, this would make a great blanket, like working up as a blanket. Um, and you have enough to make one, definitely. This is in the color Dodgeball, okay? And it's this kind of blue and brown colorway. I just, I picked it out um, because I thought that it would probably appeal to most of you. Um, of course, you could make anything you want with it, but I would suggest a blanket um, or a sweater, something like that. Something nice for fall. It's 100% acrylic. Um, and seems like there were some stats over here. Yeah. Okay, so there's 328 yards per skein, um, 7 ounce or 200 grams, um, and it recommends using a J-hook, which sounds about right. And uh, there is a throw um, picture here. Let's see if I can... Ah. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a throw pattern there um, that is inside of the the bag there so like if you open up the um the label it'll have that pattern in there all right so the other one that tied was Lyabran mandala so i got this bonus bundle okay of the Lyabran mandala it is 10.5 ounces or 300 grams it has 1,181 yards, okay, <laughs> which is 1,080 meters. Um, this is also 100% acrylic. This is a lightweight three. It recommends an H hook. Um, this is an example of how it might look when it's worked up. Um, obviously, you can see those colors in there real well. I thought it was really pretty, um, so we got you one of those. And then another one was, um, so I would say second was a tie between Red Heart's Unforgettable and Lion Brand's um, Landscapes. Now they both feel very similar, um, but I wanted to include a Lion Brand Unforgettable, and this happens to be in my favorite color, which is Polo. So it's got all these different autumnal colors. Now that color is showing up really true to color on the screen. Um, so you've got these like kind of rust oranges and the different um, greens. Um, and I just, I just absolutely love this colorway. So you are going to be getting three skeins of the Red Heart Unforgettable in polo. Um, and that's definitely enough to make a hat and a scarf. This stuff, you know, it, it works up real well, I've noticed. Um, so even though it's kind of a smaller ball, it looks kind of like that, it's actually very de deceptive as far as how far it goes. So there's 270 yards per ball. You'll get three of them. Um, that's 246 meters. Um, recommends a J hook. Um, and let's see, it's, I, I know it's 100% acrylic. Um, and then it's a medium four weight. I think I already said that. Yeah, 100% acrylic. I, I just wanted to make sure I saw that in the description here. Oh, that's not on camera. We got to keep that yarn on camera so you can see it. Um, so another one that was said a lot, just not as much as some of the other ones, was this um, was cotton and bamboo. That, that was something that a lot of people um, recommended. So instead of getting one of each, I decided to get two um, of this Lion Brand Kaboo. Now, this is a cotton bamboo blend. I got it in this really pretty color here. Um, and that is, the color is mauve. So it's kind of like a medium pink, okay? Um, this is a lightweight three. It's 3.5 ounces or 100 grams with both of these, 232 yards um, in each one of them. And it recommends a G-hook. So it is... 51% um, cotton and 49% bamboo. And I just thought it's so soft and I thought it would just make such a great um, addition to this because you get the best of both worlds here. Um, so we've got that. And then 
You guys. <laughs> you guys. Of course, the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre came up. A lot of people really, really love this Super Saver Ombre. It has, it basically just very gradually goes from one color to the next. And when I saw that they actually had um, this dark teal, or it's called deep teal, sorry, um, in stock at my Walmart, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to put this, I have to put this in the giveaway because it's, I've never seen it at Walmart before. <laughs> so I have got three of these as well so that you guys will have enough to make a nice blanket here. Um, so this is a medium weight for um, it uses a U.S. eye hook, um, is what it recommends. I, I typically use a, a J or a K with this, so you can go up 100% um, acrylic. And I'm trying to find how many. Uh, 482 yards per ball, and you'll get three of them. So, um, now before I move on to the terms and well actually I, there's one more yarn here <laughs> but before I move on to that I do want to mention about Red Heart now a lot of people have issues with Red Heart because it's scratchy and it can be difficult to work with I know um, some people have very sensitive hands and even it'll it'll even kind of scratch up their hands and they don't like working with it because of that one thing I can tell you guys though this stuff softens up so much in the washer if you add liquid fabric softener to it. So when I make something for my Etsy store, for example, with the Super Saver Ombre um, from Red Heart, I will always wash it with um, a hypoallergenic detergent and hypoallergenic fabric softener and it softens up so well it's it now it's not perfect of course but it softens up enough to where it does not feel scratchy and it will really deceive you it's like it does not feel like a red heart super saver so I do want to give that tip with this because I know that um, some people kind of are on the fence about it but this did win um, now you guys said super saver um, mo you know a lot of you guys said super saver some of you guys specified that it was the ombre that you liked I went ahead and got ombre because I just love the way that this looks um, you can use the most simple stitch and it just works up in it in all of that color work that comes from the way that this just gradually goes from each color to the next it just speaks for itself all right so last <laughs> definitely not least for you for most of you guys we have this see if I can put these all on here we have this Noro and it is so pretty got in my own way here isn't that pretty yeah so this is um, a kind of yarn that's made in Japan as one of my subscribers put it once it is a n not cheap yarn <laughs> the, these typically run pretty high they're pretty pricey it's hard to find them um so it can be kind of difficult to get your hands on one of these but i have um i have a ball here and this one is well, first off, it's 100% wool. It's called Baki, B-A-C-H-I. I, I apologize to anybody um, who speaks Japanese who, who is like, oh, you're butchering that. <laughs> but that's the way that it looks to me. Um, and this is a 200 gram ball um, of that. So you you get a lot with this. And so I've included this great Noro. See, a lot of you guys probably don't need me to explain what Noro is. <laughs> a lot of you guys probably know. But, just in case. So, now that you guys know everything that is in this giveaway, and I'm sure you guys are pretty excited about it, I'm going to read the terms and conditions. Now, listen to these terms and conditions, because this is going to tell you how to, how to enter, okay? <laughs> okay, YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway in any way. This giveaway is funded by me for subscribers to Nishcraft. This giveaway is open to residents of the United States and Canada only. I will open this this up to more countries as I get more subscribers, but this particular giveaway is only open to the U.S. and Canada. To enter the giveaway, you must subscribe to Nishcraft, 
like this video and leave a comment with the word happy in it. And you can um, write whatever you like, but um, some ideas is tell me something that's made you happy this week. Tell me something in this giveaway that has made you happy. Tell, tell me something about um, crafting that makes you happy. Tell me something about my channel that makes you happy. Just use the word happy in it, all right? So this is optional, but another thing that you can do to help me out is to check out some of my other videos, um, share this giveaway so that your friends know about it, and if you could visit my Etsy shop and just see what I have there, um, really appreciate that, but you don't have to do that, okay? Alrighty, so I will choose a winner by random comment picker at 6 o'clock p.m. Central on August 31st, 2022. The winner must use the word happy in the comment to qualify, okay? Because I'm going to be using that word to um, target all the comments with that word in it, okay? Once selected, the winner must email me with a mailing address within 10 days of the announcement of the winner. So that said, I just want to say good luck to all who enter and I will see you soon in another video. Bye for now.